this morning. Um, I would like to first of all introduce myself. I know most of you, but for those of you I haven't had the pleasure to meet, my name is Jane Griffin and I am the president of the Groundwater Foundation. Um, I'd also like to thank John Chapel and the Lincoln Children's Zoo for hosting uh, this event this morning. We're, we're grateful that you made the time and the space for us. And I'd of course like to welcome uh, the Nebraska State Attorney General, John Bruni, and we have a couple of his staff members here as well. So thank you all for being here this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we're here for two reasons this morning. It's a, uh, the event has a, sort of a dual purpose. And both of them relate back to the Groundwater Foundation and what we do, what we're all about. We educate and we motivate people to care for and about groundwater. So with that, I think we're going to just jump into the first part of this, and I'm going to invite Jennifer Wenhoff. Jennifer is our program director for the Groundwater Guardian Green Site program, and she's going to tell you why we are here at the zoo and why John Chapo is up here with us. So yeah, uh, I'm going to give just a little bit of information about what the Green Site program is. Um, it was created to recognize what we call highly managed green spaces. So places like golf courses um, here in town, like Wilders Ridge. Um, Arbor Links down in Nebraska City, um, Wild Horse Golf Course in Gothenburg, um, ball fields like Haymarket Park, and education campuses like Joan College and Vanna College. So places with a lot of green um, is who we developed this program to recognize. Um, and sites work to be in the program by completing an application that functions to evaluate their practices um, related to a variety of different things on their site. Um, pesticide and fertilizer use, water use, managing sources of pollution, um, environmental stewardship, those kinds of things. And the application really functions to um, both evaluate those high practices and then as an educational tool for site managers. As they work through it, they see where their practices are and how they kind of rate um, related to the point value. So we really had a success with how that has worked as an educational tool. And of course, as an educational organization, we're thrilled about that. So um, 2007 was the first year for the program as a pilot year. And 2008 was the first year that we opened it up for raw participation. And we really had some meaningful results in terms of protecting drinking water and groundwater sources in that first year. Um, sites have documented a variety of really positive, really meaningful numbers for us. And that first year we documented a reduction of roughly 100,000 pounds of fertilizer, 38% reduction in pesticide use, a savings of over 224 million gallons of water, and then the proper disposal of thousands of pounds of uh, potentially to toxic substances like old batteries, used oil, tires, you know, things like that. So we're really happy with how the program has come along so far, and we're thrilled to be here at the zoo to recognize one of Lincoln's great um, partners and in things in the city, the Lincoln Children's Zoo. So the zoo worked to complete that application and worked through and documented their practices and was able to earn green site designation. So thanks to the funding from the Attorney General and our other sponsors, uh, the Environmental Trust, Nebraska Department of Environmental Quality, and Cargill, um, we're able to reach out to additional uh, partners in the state, additional green sites, and hopefully expand the impact of the program and recognize more groundwater stewards for the program. So, congratulations, John and Lincoln's Children's Zoo for earning green sites. On behalf of Lincoln Children's Zoo, we do want to thank you so very much for for this wonderful recognition. You are quite right, we are a wonderful green space and teaching stewardship to children, children of all ages is our mission as well as part and parcel of learning firsthand at the Lincoln Children's Zoo. And so that's why it's so very important for us to, to strive for this designation because we do have this beautiful little green space in the heart of our community and but no golf balls in this place. <laughs> So we really do appreciate this recognition, and as a matter of fact, I was visiting with Jennifer, we're going to be sending letters out to all my colleagues at other zoos across the country, asking them, since they are also stewards of wildlife of the world, to ask them to join in being stewards. Thank you. <laughs> being stewards of the groundwater as well. So again, on behalf of the children too, I want to welcome you all here today. Thank you so very much for the significant recognition, and we are very proud and Yes, thank you. Okay, with that, that uh, congratulations to John. Um, it brings us to our next portion of the, this morning's event, and I'm going to turn that over to our Attorney General Bruni to let him explain why we're here. Sure. Well, uh, Jane, we're 
very pleased to be here. And then the Attorney General's office, we're big supporters of the Groundwater Foundation. We're, we're huge fans, frankly. And we consider it part of our mission to protect the environment. One of the things, we, seven years ago when I became Attorney General, we created an Environment and Natural Resources Unit within the Attorney General's office. That hadn't happened before. And so we're going after polluters and, and others who harm the environment. When we go after those folks, and unfortunately they do exist in Nebraska, uh, you, you got to make it hurt somehow. Typically the way to make it hurt to make it so they don't do it again is money. So we end up with the money. What, what's the best thing to do with the money? Well, we think it is return to the community through groups like the Groundwater Foundation, especially because of what you do with educating children on the importance of protecting groundwater. Uh, we just uh, we think the mission is first rate. So we've, uh, we've been privileged to be able to be supporting in the past. We have a check here that's uh, at least it would be on your wall. <laughs> yeah. So we've, yeah, so we've got $25,000 for the Groundwater Foundation. We, uh, we fully intend to uh, continue this partnership well in the future. I have a real check in my pocket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> catch, catch this one. Oh, oh hey, yeah. man, trust me. <laughs> uh, yeah. You all saw that, right? <laughs> Especially in a state uh, like Nebraska, where water is so very important to uh, a huge part of our economy and the agriculture of the state. And my family, farmers on both sides, uh, on the brewing side, and my wife's uh, grew up on a farm. And, uh, you know, the groundwater in the state is incredibly important. And now as we become more urban, uh, we need to make sure that people in urban areas understand uh, what they're doing in their lawns and everything else very much matters to the overall economy of the state. So, okay. anyway, we're, we're very thrilled with the mission. Well, we, we appreciate it too. So thank you to the attorney. <laughs> on behalf of everyone at the Groundwater Foundation, our staff and board and, and the Groundwater Foundation members, and also most importantly the communities we serve, I would like to say a heartfelt thanks um, to your office for recognizing the importance and truly what what we see this as is as an investment in the well-being of the state of Nebraska. And it is maybe a, a little bit indirect, but as John said, it is, it is extremely important to educate our future stewards of the, this resource which is so vital to us. Um, the funding that we're receiving today will go towards the Greenside program. Obviously, that's why we wanted to connect it with this designation today. And it will also go towards our youth education programs. Um, not all of our programs, um, I've got a little quote so I don't want to send it in the wrong spot, but um, not all of our programs provide tangible outcomes like the ones that Jennifer listed today with the Greensight program. Sometimes they take a lot longer to see those actual results, but we firmly believe in a very famous quote um, as Senegalese ecologist, once said that in the end, we can serve only what we love, we love only what we understand, and we understand only what we are taught. And the Groundwater Foundation actually has had the privilege of witnessing the truth in that quote. Um, just a few days ago, we received a letter from a, a, a young man named Brandon Davis. He's a graduate of Nebraska Wesleyan and is currently in Uruguay studying sustainable rural, rural development. He's pursuing his master's degree. And he wrote us and he said, <clears throat> it may be hard to believe that something like the Groundwater Festival can have such an impact on someone's life. But it is true. The Groundwater Festival was one of my first experiences with issues related to the environment. At the festival, I received my first glimpse of the interrelatedness of people and their environment how the choices that we make impact everybody and the environment. The concepts that I learned at an early age have stayed with me and translated into a drive to deepen my knowledge in that area. That is exactly why pro programs like these are so important, because they plant the seeds, the seeds that one day may grow into something great. So that is one of our, one of a, an outcome that we didn't see immediately. A second outcome I'd like to point out is, is our program manager, Jamie Olfen. She also is an alum of the Children's Groundwater Festival. So it, it does work. The, the lessons that we are able to provide with the kids do reach the kids, do help them make their decisions in life and choices and help us to protect this resource, which is so vital. A lot of you here today are also partners that we work with, as, as John said and as Jennifer mentioned. We do partner with a lot of different organizations, and that's been a real beneficial way to reach out to a diverse audience. 
Um, one of the things that we started just two summers ago was to work with the Bright Lights Learning Summer Learning Program and offer a week-long camp with kids. Now, we can really dig in with those kids when we have a week to work with them. But what's really, what's really exciting is when you see on the first day, and this happened this year, the first day one of the kids came up to our program managers and said, I hate the outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> and this camp was called Outdoor Adventures at H2O. <laughs> anyway, by the end of the week, she, like the other 24 kids, had, had experienced everything from the state parks to organic farms to acting like they're EPA scientists and doing clean water challenges, installing grain gardens, and at the end of the week she had truly connected with nature and, and developed an understanding of groundwater and the role that it plays in our lives. So it's highlights like these that I've mentioned that really empower us and inspire us to continue to provide the programs that we do, and it's thanks to the support like today's that we're receiving from the Attorney General and the support of all of you as our partners that we're able to do it. So with that, one more time, a special thank you, and thank you all for being here today. <laughs>